Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am scrapping another school layout and I am going to be using that sort of tartan paper to frame my layout. And as you can see the dress my daughter is wearing, she's the little girl in the middle of the photo, um, it's also a tartan dress. So I thought that the tartan would go really well with with the dress so I've got those three big photos and I've got four smaller photos and I was just contemplating on how to get them all in the layout but then I decided just to go with the three three smaller photos so I've got this little six by six paper pad um, uh, from my mind's eye um, and it's a school themed paper pad so I'm just uh, tearing up some paper and putting it behind my photos to look like the paper is coming out from behind my photos and I'm tearing the paper into strips. Now it looks very higgledy piggledy but um, you'd be able to to see in the end what it looks like in the end. It looks quite nice in the end everything but at the moment it does look quite. <laughs> so I've got this from um, Jubilee, from my mind's eye, this, that, uh, um, what do you call that? Chipboard sheet. And I thought I could use it, but I didn't end up using any of the elements of the chipboard sheet. Now, I wanted to use some more of that paper from the 6x6 my mind's eye paper pad, um, but I don't end up using any more of that. And you can see that I've got my thickers out from uh, Pick Me Up that um, I still, I, I bought like, I think five or six packs of them. So I have a lot of those. And you know that those thickers, you know, they've got a lot of mileage in them. They can go, you can get a lot of words out of them. So I've been using the blue thickers, especially for all my school layouts. Um, I find that they go well with all of the, 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 the school collections and um, they stand out very nicely if you if you if you use them against a um, white background or, or something and obviously because they're so small it's really nice making large titles with it so I'm just having a little bit of a struggle there to get my torn strips tucked in nicely behind my photos there so and there I'm just using my my Aileen's tacky glue. This is the glue I use always. We don't get quick oh, Scotch quick dry adhesive um, here in Dubai. We get different kinds of Scotch um, uh, um, uh, glues. We get the spray on glue, but we don't get the the quick dry adhesive. So um, that Aileen's is just as well. It's I've got a big massive container of it and. Um, uh, I just keep on refilling my little bottle every time I run out so that works wonders for me so I used to use a lot of the um, what's that thing called my ATG and I had a lot of refills um, I bought somebody's stash and in the stash was an ATG with something like 12 or 15 refills something but I've run out of refills so I just have the one left that's in my ATG and I don't want to use that unless I have to stick down um, uh, acetate or um, something clear like that or uh, well tissue paper because um, tissue paper doesn't do very well with wet glue and um, I don't want to use I want to finish it before I, before I get to use it on things I really need to use it on so that little um, banner is from, hmm, let me have a look here. It's from a doodle bug, this and that, um, sticker sheet called Back to School. And uh, I like the fact that it brings out the black that I placed on the other side of the, of the, of the photos. The little sticker said, that says, play nice, work hard and stay kind. It sort of balances out that black and it also um, balances out the black of the tartan that's or the buffalo plaid that's just behind my photos. I'm going to be using the same. <laughs> I'm going to be using the same sticker sheet, just little word strips on there to um, layer on top of my photos, um, and that just says some good times, friends, laugh, um, things like that. 
And the photo, it's actually quite a cute photo. This little friend that's sitting next to Emma, the boy with the blonde hair, he used to be one of Emma's best friends back when she was still in FS. Now, FS is foundation stage, and it is basically kindergarten and the year before kindergarten, if you don't know what FS is. <laughs> so, And they used to be, you know, quite good friends. And um, this is just such a cute photo, how, how they're sitting together, and she's hugging him, and then he's hugging her back, and he's giving her a big fat kiss on the cheek. It's so cute. So anyway, and it's just, um, she still talks about her friend, the little boy. So I thought this would be a wonderful layout to document and um, wonderful photos, sorry, to document for her so that she can always remember him. And the little girl that's sitting um, to the left of the photos was her best, best friend. Now this friend comes from Kenya and um, she still talks about her best, best friend. So they've, in, um, they've gone back to Kenya in the meantime so this is the thing of living in Dubai you you know you make friends and everything is temporary here nobody really lives here forever and um, you know one day you could be here and the next day you could be on your way out so and I feel really sorry for my kids um, they have made awesome friends I mean Etienne's made a friend that um, has moved back to the UK but he frequently comes back to Dubai and every time the friend comes back to Dubai you know they have a play date so I'm not worried about them not making friends and not forming, you know, quality relationships with friends um, because, you know, they're just learning that friendship takes a lot of work and that is fine. <laughs> so I am going to be doing a lot of journaling on this page. Um, these photos were taken during my daughter's um, little uh, assembly, class assembly, and they were um, talking about uh, Paddington Bear and she was Paddington Bear's auntie in the assembly so I just wrote that all down and I'm going to be pl um, placing a lot of hearts on this as well now those teeny tiny little hearts are just from a craft or a stationery shop here in Dubai so I can't even help you to know where you can get any of them <laughs> Just have a look at your, your local craft or your, your stationery shops. Um, if you're in the UK, have, go and have a look at Paper Chase. I know Paper Chase sell a lot of these teeny tiny little stickers as well. Um, so I'm sure Michaels will have them in the, in the US and, and things like that. So I am going to be um, uh, putting some of those uh, uh, hexagons on there. I really like the yellow and I try to bring in another color as well, a yellow with a little bit of white on it as well. I'm also going to be doodling, I think, around the border. That's something I'm doing with all my layouts lately. I used to sort of use my doodling sparingly, but um, at the moment I think it's just my go-to. It sort of frames a layout very nicely and it just completes a layout for me. I thought I would use this little... Do I end up using it? I'm not sure. I can't remember. It looks really cute though. If I don't end up using it, I might just go back and add it. I don't think I end up using it. <laughs> I, I have to say that this layout, um, I, I made this layout quite a number of weeks ago and I've made quite a few layouts in between. So I tend to forget what I, what I, if I don't have the layout in front of me, I think I filed this layout already away. So, um, so yes, anyway, I do do use some Heidi Swap um, color shine, some butter, just to bring out some more yellow um, in the, in the layout. And there you go, there's some close-ups. Um, remember to give this video a like, if you like what you see, it would really be cool. And if you don't mind, please leave a comment. And I will see you again soon. Bye.